Today began a special session for the South Dakota Legislature, and over 100 people from around the state gathered in Pierre to make sure their voices would be heard. However, the purpose for all these people gathering in the state capitol was not to do anything with the topics up for discussion in the special sessions. Rather, it was something very near and dear to many of these people, and that is the matter of medical freedom. So I went to the state capitol so I can learn firsthand why the issue of medical freedom is so important to so many South Dakotans. My name's RJ, I'm with the people I've spoken. My goal is to just come out here and we'll talk to people and find out why you've come out in the cold and the rain. Why is this issue so important to you? Uh, we're here because we see our rights slipping away. We see our governor is, um, is acknowledging that state employees have the right to bodily autonomy, but those of us in the public, in the, in, you know, the public sector, have the same rights as state employees. Because the employers are, I feel like they're pushing medical tyranny on us and not giving us a choice for body autonomy. And I've got grandchildren and I want to fight for our future too. So that's why I'm here. Well, to be honest, I have no skin in the game. Um, I have nobody in my family that is being mandated right now. Um, but I am a hairstylist and I hear the stories all day long and I hear many vaccinated people who are even against mandates and um, I want our legislators to understand that this is a top-down mandate so even though uh, it is businesses mandating it there many many of them are doing it because uh, Biden has mandated it and they don't want to be fined. There's a lot of mandates that are coming down the pike and um, we know that if you don't have informed consent, it's called coercion. And so we're here to stop these mandates. You have to have the right to full informed consent. You have the right to say yes or no. And right now these mandates are coming down on emergency use authorization products. So in other words, they have not been fully approved and they're saying, no, you need to be mandate and need to take these shots. Just for our basic freedoms, freedom of choice. You know, we. I don't think this should be a mandate. I don't think any of this should be done the way it's done. People should be able to choose what they put into their body and how they do it. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. Protecting our basic li liberties and freedoms. So, if these companies just want to do it on their own, don't they have the right to make that decision? I would say they do. However, we also should have the right to do a medical exem exemption or a uh, exemption for uh, religion. Uh, just like we do in the school systems. Um, in the school systems, we are allowed to just sign a form. And in South Dakota, you don't have to answer any questions. What's happening now is the businesses are forcing people to answer for their religion, and they're forcing them to answer for their medical issues. You look at the ADA. The ADA came about, I don't even know, 20 plus years ago. And that's our government. Now that happens to be a federal government, but it comes in and it states that as a business, you must make a reasonable accommodation for a person with a disability. And they don't have to explain to you in great detail their disability. They simply state they have a disability. This is the accommodation that I would like my employer to make. And that employer has to make it. So when you tell me that the government does not impose themselves in businesses, they do. If I've heard correctly, I mean, Christy Noem's already come out and she has said that they're, they're working on some mandates. So is it really worthwhile for you to stand out here getting wet and cold um, and holding signs? Well, right now she's only fighting for state employees. We need all the regular employees to be fought for as well. So we need the legislatures to call for a special session so that they can hear our voices and get a bill passed to codify medical freedom for us. Those of us in the public, in the, in, you know, the public sector, have the same rights as state employees. If it saves people's lives, isn't it worthwhile? Is it saving people's lives? Um, because what I'm seeing is more of an uptick with the vaccine. I had COVID and I'm alive. I know other people who had COVID and I'm alive. I understand people will die. I'm not trying to state that COVID isn't real and that it isn't somewhat deadly. But when you look at the actual numbers, I don't know that COVID, honestly, in my opinion, is more deadly than flu. We're here to support freedom. It's all about health freedom. Everybody wants the freedom. That's why we live in the United States of America. That's why people um, come to our country. 
After speaking to so many people here at the rally at the state capitol, it's very clear how important it is to so many that they receive their medical freedom. This is an issue of them losing their livelihoods, their ability to support their families, buy Christmas presents, and live the American dream. I hope that the South Dakota legislature and the governor will listen to what the people have to say and take the necessary action in order to protect their medical freedom so that way they don't have to worry about where their next paycheck is coming from. I'm RJ with The People Have Spoken. Thank you so much.